Hey there, internet. So I bought this on a whim. I bought this ER32 collet chuck from my lathe, but what I didn't do is check the dimensions. So I don't know why I didn't do it, but it was cheap. I could get it on prime delivery, which would give me kind of instant gratification. And um, so I just pulled the trigger. Now, uh, it doesn't say that it's hardened steel in the description here, but it's definitely hardened steel. Uh, I was able to cut a 95 millimeter boss relief uh, for my lathe, which is a takes a 125 millimeter chuck, and it's got a 108 millimeter bolt hole pattern. This one is 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 larger. Um, the boss here is 100 millimeters. So not only did I have to cut the boss relief, but I had to take about five millimeters off of this height. Unfortunately, my lathe. Uh, the motor is not strong enough to take that cut out past about this point. So from about here to here, when the cutter would move along, the lathe would speed up to compensate for the lack of torque and the hardened steel would catch on fire. And that's not good. So what I decided to do was uh, throw it onto my new uh, mill CNC machine that I've been trying to tune. I thought the hardened steel would be a good test for it, and uh, that's what I'll show you next. And then at the end, what I'll show you is the testing of parting and the concentricity testing. Uh, unfortunately, the focus isn't all that great, but uh, I think you'll, uh, perhaps if you're interested in doing this yourself, you'll appreciate the results. All right, hard milling, take one. All right, so here's my run out. Um, I think that's acceptable for for me. <laughs> I'm not very good at any of this. Um, it's about it's about five on the on the end. I don't know how concentric the thing is that's in there, 
but uh, it's less than five here by the nose. So I'm gonna do a couple quick tests. I'm gonna just see how, you know, how solid it is. Um, I've saved, I've saved at least two inches. Um, and the whole reason I did this was I saw a video from Winky's workshop and he was trying to shorten his distance between his workpiece and, and his chuck nose. And I thought this would help. Uh, plus I also, I wanted to have an easy way to get any, any, a collet mount in here. So hopefully this is going to make the machine a bit more rigid and, uh, I'm going to do a couple quick tests. We'll see how it cuts. All right, here's parting. I just I just did the first cut. I can already tell it's better. But uh, here's what the parting is going to look like. The motor's like the biggest problem here. sharp my parting tool is. But uh that's like night and day better. There it is. Here's the result. I would say that this is much, much, much better than what I was able to do with the chuck sticking out. The thickness is really nice and uniform all the way out to the middle. So that is pretty good. The surface finish just from that first pass that I did wasn't fantastic. So I don't know if that's a function of my feeds and speeds or the material or the sharpness of the cutter. Uh, I'm going to take another pass with a different tool and see what kind of result I can get. I need a high speed steel shearing tool. Now, one of the problems here is that I'm so much closer to my spindle nose and my the thickness of the, the saddle mount is inconsistent, so it's a lot tighter. So the downside of that is it's harder to crank. The upside of that is it's actually going to be more rigid the closer out to the nose that I get. So here we go. I'm going to turn one pass on this. Move in ten tenth of a millimeter. Let's see what it looks like. That looks more like a shearing cut. It's not making any noise. Looks more consistent. I think for this material, that's about as good as I'm going to get. I'm going to change the collet and flip it around and see what it looks like. That is the unfinished surface. I don't really know. That's an unknown surface. I don't really know 
anything about that surface, but it's got about nine hundredths of run out. And the original, the surface I just machined, is less than two. So I would say that is a success. I'm pretty happy with that. Cool. So, like, what 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 would my my uh, wrap up be? My summary. Um, this is this was hardened, so uh, it's not for your lighthearted, <laughs> easy machining. Uh, I I did rough off the well. I when I first did tried this, and I didn't I didn't get any video of this, but um, I was trying to. I had it in my my four jaw six inch vise or chuck and it, everything was fine until it got out to about 120 millimeters and the problem is is I couldn't run the motor slow enough uh, well I could run the motor slow enough but when I would take a cut the cutting pressure that was needed put enough load on the motor that the controller would speed the motor up to compensate because it didn't have enough torque at the low end of the RPM and it would increase the spindle speed to about 250 RPMs and this hardened steel would just come off and immediately oxidize and catch on fire um, and that's why I didn't I didn't I didn't turn down the whole thing the other thing is I can only take about a tenth of a millimeter at a time uh, off of this material now if I were to do it all over again and I didn't have the CNC machine that I wanted to test I would have just put a big 12 millimeter roughing end mill and mounted it up in the in my manual mill and done all the roughing that way. Um, I ended up taking about five millimeters off the total thickness. Now I don't think, you know, for the for the the stock that I'm going to put in here, I don't think that I've messed up the structural integrity of the of the um, of the piece. But I did have to take some. I did have to cut uh, two and a half millimeters. Uh, into the bowl or into the uh, boss registration. So this inner part here where the boss registration cutout is, is, is thinner by about two millimeters. I think it's about, I want to say it's eight or nine millimeters of, of, of hardened steel. It should be fine. Um, the stick out's about an inch and a half. So I, I, I don't think I'm creating any safety issues. I, I'm at, frankly more concerned with the, the, the thickness of the, the spindle in, inside of the headstock here that's probably a bigger concern so yeah I mean was this worth it no um, it took five hours probably five and a half hours of work to to get this thing adapted um, and if you can find one that's the right size for your spindle uh, it's probably worth paying an extra hundred bucks for uh, but I did learn a lot it was a fun little project I got to put my CNC machine through its paces somewhat and uh, now I do have an ER32 chuck plate for this lathe which I think is going to which is going to come in handy. So, if you have any questions, uh, leave them down below and thanks for watching.